So I have a couple of YouTube suggestions here uh, based on these YouTube videos uh, for those that I've been working with here. First comes from uh, actually somebody I've hired to help me with this pro project. It's Alexander. Thank you very much for helping Alexander. Um, uh, so you explain this very eloquently and I appreciate kind of the basics here because I am new to EEPROMs more than I'm not. I've messed with about three or four before over the last few years, but besides that, you know, for all the stuff I've done, I'm kind of a novice, so I appreciate the, uh, the points, the, you know, the pointers here. Programming, during programming we can change the one bit to a zero, but not vice versa. Thus the, um, the ultraviolet um, eraser necessary. So uh, when you try to program FF to all cell, nothing happens actually. All right, nothing actually happens. All right. Okay, please do the following. Use chip with 00, zero in the first cell. All right, so we, we had that yesterday. Load the bin file. Check off, uh, check off the checkbox, verify after. Set PPV to 21. Perform write. Read the chip. Uh, in unsuccess, increase up to 25 volts. Well, I think he missed the fact that the menu here doesn't go beyond 21. See, I, I can't scroll here. So I, I, my range is from 10 to 21 and no further. But we're certainly going to try that. And so he asks this me to uh, please burn this version into the chip which has a double zero in the first cell. Okay. Well, that's very nice. So let me uh, let me just download that and, and get that ready right now. All right. I should have that ready now. Should be able to open this. Now, first, I put the... Uh, let's make sure I put the right chip in. I've marked it bad here so I know which one I'm putting in. So <clears throat> let me put that in right now. And there it is. It's in the reader. This recognizes the reader, so let me hit the read button. Make sure that the first bit is zero, or the first byte is zero, and it is. Okay, so he wants me to load this where the first byte is zero, so we're going to open, open. And so, let's see here. Let's see here. There we go. Open. Binary. There we go. So we made the first bit zero. There we go. I'm not sure what this test is, but we got it. Now, uh, he wants me to go right to 21, so I'm going to. There we go. And check off the checkbox, verify after. All right, so we're not checking verify after. There we go, which makes sense. I think I did that yesterday, but... Now we are. So here we are. We're going to program this puppy with the defaults other than VPP voltage jumped up to 21. Program, and we get an error. Now, why do we get an error if verify after is off? Programming stopped. Good question. I don't have an answer. Let's read what's there. See if anything changed. Yes! Yes! We got the second, <laughs> the second one. <laughs> so we can read like one byte at a time, or we can write one byte at a time. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right, now this is actually very interesting. Um, okay. Now let's, oh, let's try this again. This is actually quite, quite interesting here. So this one is 20. Let's see if we can get a 20 in there. So here we go. Let's program. Okay. Still another error. Cancel. Now let's see if we read this. Nope. Did not... Did not change this, the, uh, the third bit. Isn't that interesting? Um, now this kind of makes me wonder... What if I can change these here? What if I make these all zeros? What if I make the next, next one zero? What if I do that? Now let's try to program that. Okay, it doesn't like that. But let's read it. Look at that! So I can program a double zero 
but I can't program other stuff. What does this mean? Well, let's try, let's try a one next. Okay, program that. See, verify after is still off. All right, cancel. Now, let's read, see what we have. Okay, it did not do that, but let's try again. Let's write that to a zero. Let's program that in. Again, we get the same error. Now let's read. Okay. So I could program zeros, but apparently nothing else. Now I did want to go through all 16 options of the hexadecimal byte, or I guess it's, you know, going to be 16 times 16. So that uh, I'm not, not going to do that. Not going to do that. It's too tired, too late. Way too late. I shouldn't be up this late anyway. But this is a very, very, very interesting discovery, and I don't know what this means. Um, so I, I certainly am, you know, have hit some kind of limitation here where I could actually change something. Um, but I don't know what. So, you know, I'm not sure what to, what, uh, what to say about this. Now, I have another suggestion here by text earlier today. From Cipro, he said, uh, saw your YouTube video. I have a silly suggestion. Cipro, I'm certain it's not silly. Turn verify after off and toss a, and toss a, a chip in you don't, I think you meant to say, and toss a chip you don't care about that's already been ruined. Well, I think it's this one. I don't know if it's been ruined or not, but when I put it under the, uh, the UV light, uh, which is supposed to be the eraser for hours, it didn't erase. Um, seems like it's not taking enough time. Well, I agree with you there. So I, I think I've just done this. I took, I, you know, I, 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 I put verify off here. And, um, you know, it keeps erring out. Now, what's interesting here is, uh, what if I program this? See, it still errs at address 03 now. And it shouldn't be any different, and it's not. But evidently, I could keep doing this. All right, program. See, address four. Uh, buffer zero zero, verify zero XFF. Verifies off, and it's been off. Let's read, see if now all four bytes are zeros. And they are. So I can write one zero at a time. I think, I don't know, let's try two. Let's try the whole first row. Let's try that. All right, so let's program that puppy, see what happens there. Okay, let's see if we get the fifth one. No, we didn't get the fifth one. So let's try the fourth over again. We just can do one at a time. Let's talk about your tediousness. And then, you know, they all have to be zero. So what good is that? <laughs> okay. All right. So let's read that. Sure enough, as long as we only change one at a time. Now, I wonder, why is this so hard? Is it because the voltage isn't high enough? Someone who understands the the anatomy and, and properties of this chip might be able to explain this to me. And, and yet, why the disparity between the VPP voltage, as I showed in video one of this series, um, you know, being so low on uh, the spec sheet for the, uh, for, the, for the 27, I don't even know what this chip is anymore, I'm so tired. Yeah, it's 2716, yeah, that's it, okay. But anyway, I just wanted to try this uh, for those of you who are helping me and uh, those of you who also might find it and find it interesting and have a suggestion or whatever. Always welcome those, and I appreciate, uh, appreciate you watching. Thank you so much, and uh, talk to you later.